Representative Nate, describe your ability to work with other legislators and House leadership in advancing appropriate legislation. Absolutely. Uh, thank you for this question, too. I have a track record of being able to work with, with all the legislators. I, uh, I've passed legislation, I've passed bills uh, regarding um, the pro-life issue. One of the most, uh, finding out one of the most difficult issues to work on in the legislature is something big like the pro-life issue. I thought that uh, in Idaho, naively going into the legislature, that it would be easy to pass a pro-life bill because we are a conservative state. Well, when I introduced the Ultrasound Information Act, which was a bill that required abortionists to inform young mothers of their opportunity to get a free ultrasound before, they, uh, before an abortion was performed, um, I thought that would be an easy bill to pass. Uh, the, uh, it's, it's a good bill in principle, too, but I found out that big issues like that draw a lot of opposition. And they draw a lot of criticism, a lot of uh, a lot of attacks. So being able to work with other legislators was very important because we needed to get the bill exactly right. Planned Parenthood spends a lot of resources to defeat a bill and to also make it so that they can sue the state so that the bill never goes into effect. Being able to work with legislators, both in the Senate and the House, we were able to get it done. We took on Planned Parenthood. We won on that issue. And now I've, I've um, happy to report that at least in the first year, there were five reported, they called them saves, in the, in the pro-life movement. And uh, since then, there's been dozens of little babies that are, that are born and, and growing up because a bill was passed. And so I have other legislation that I've been able to work with legislators on. I've been the leader of the State Freedom Caucus. I'm the chair and founding member of the State Freedom Caucus Network. I'm also a leader and chair of the Idaho Conservative Agenda, um, where we get 31 legislators to sign on to a great set of principles going into a legislative session. And we've done that for the last two years. And I also had the honor of being the Idaho State GOP Legislator of the Year in 2018. I have a track record of working well with others and getting some good things done, and I'm, I'm happy to go back. Same question to you uh, is to describe your ability to work with other legislators and House leadership in advancing appropriate legislation. So I believe there needs to be a correction before I proceed, but uh, I'm not sure where Representative Nate got his information, but I've told Congressman Simpson to his face that I do not support his proposal to remove the dams. So I, again, not sure where that information came from, but Congressman Simpson recognizes that we can have a difference of opinion and yet still share the same objectives in trying to approve things in the state of Idaho for our water users. As to how we work with others uh, to advance legislation in the Idaho House, I think one of the critical things to remember is that you are one of 104 votes. There are 70 members in the House and there are 35 members in the Senate. And then you still have to get the support from the governor to sign that legislation. And so you have to work not only with people who live in different areas of the state, but folks who are working on different constituencies' priorities. And so as you come together, you have to take into account that the priorities that you're fighting for for your district may not look like the same priorities of a legislator that serves in uh, Treasure Valley. And so when you're figuring out how can we take together some of the things that we want to see as a legislator in the Treasure Valley and some of the things that we want to see as a representative here in Madison County, you're going to discover really quickly that you're not in a position to get 100% of what you want all the time. The goal is to find the things that you can come to an agreement on and move forward and make progress. And you may have to come back in a different bill or in a different legislative session to keep making progress and moving forward. But ultimately, I believe that most of the individuals who are serving in the Idaho House and the Idaho Senate share many of the same goals. Where we disagree is on how we achieve those goals and how we get there. And so it means you have to spend a lot of time listening to each other and be respectful of the fact that even as you have differences, people are coming from the same well-intentioned place of trying to do right by their constituents. And so as we sit down and as we have those conversations, we look for the things where we can find agreement, set aside the things where we have conflict, 
and commit to come back to see if we can find other solutions in the future. And for me, my priority is to put Madison County first to ensure that the priorities of those in the Treasure Valley do not overwhelm what we want to see happening in our district and in our community. And so from that standpoint, yes, stand up for Madison County, ensure our needs are represented, but at the same time recognize that we can get more done by working together. Thank you.